So on the client side, they certainly have uh, a, a structure that supports the purchasing procurement part of their business. They have people with those titles. They have a, C, a chief procurement officer. What do we have on our side? Because I would say the equivalent is not finance. The, the equivalent to a CPO at the client is not the CFO at our organization because that is a different job. I'm looking for the pricing competency, not the accounting competency. You see the difference? At TBWA Shiat Day, they have a CFO and a CPO, both chief pricing officer, who does a different job. One is about counting and accounting, uh, making sure that, that we're, we're doing a good job of, of counting our costs and uh, allocating our resources. But the other is a different job, trying to ascertain value and it, applying creative thinking to pricing. So another way that this can take form inside agencies, and this, this is actually more practical, I think, for smaller firms, is this idea that we like a lot of a pricing council. And this is a small group of senior executives in the agency, not, not necessarily from finance. These, this can be a creative director. This can be an account director. This can be any, anyone in the firm that is naturally good at pricing. And I think you know what I mean. I had a partner once who was, who, who was just so naturally talented at being able to walk into a client and saying, yeah, that's going to be, and he'd quote double what I thought we were going to charge. And he'd get it. Just naturally good at pricing. Those are the kinds of people you want on a pricing council. And the kinds of things that they do, they identify, champion the multiple dimensions of value that you create for your clients. Because the value you create is deep and multifaceted. It's not articulated in an hourly rate at all. There are lots of different forms of value. You, and, and, and the Coca-Cola procurement person articulated a few. Speed to market, that's a value that is not going to show up in an hourly rate. Experimenting with various pricing approaches to maximize profits and Here's a concept we preach, diversify your pricing portfolio. We don't want, just like in your personal financial portfolio where you're saving for retirement, you don't just have gold or just international stocks, not just one thing. You have a diversified portfolio. That's what we want inside a professional firm is a diversified pricing portfolio because what is that going to produce for you? Overall, much, much better returns. That's just the nature of uh, portfolio diversification. The Pricing Council develops tools that keeps the firms focused on value, not cost, including changing the language, going through every single document you have in your firm and striking the word cost and estimate. And all of, if it's a client-facing document, none of that language of cost should ever appear on it. We want the language of value. Overseeing the development of pricing options. We talked about the power of options and presenting those proposals to current prospective clients. We only want the best, like you only want your best presenters showing creative work, right? You only want your best presenters at new business. You only want your best pricers presenting pricing. You don't want your pricing wimps attending a price negotiation just because they happen to work on the account. You want your, your very best. Creating new revenue streams by cultivating, packaging, monetizing the incredible amount of intellectual capital and intellectual property that exists in your firms. That's an additional revenue stream that I, I imagine many of you here are starting to experiment with. <laughs> 